So you've had your bloods taken, your platelet count is low, and you're wondering what this means. Well, in this case, you've come to the right place. My name's Dr. O'Donovan, and in this video, we'll cover what a low platelet count means, how common it is, what causes it, plus investigations and potential treatment options. So low platelets are medically known as thrombocytopenia, and it occurs when your bone marrow doesn't make enough platelets. Platelets are blood cells that form blood clots to help stop bleeding. If you've got a low platelet count, you might bleed a lot, and the bleeding might be hard to stop. So just how common is a low platelet count? Well, it's normally the case that a person may have low platelets and not realize it because their symptoms are so mild. That's why healthcare providers aren't sure exactly how many people have this condition, but about 5% of pregnant women develop a mild low platelet count just before giving birth. So what are the complications of a low platelet count? Well, people with severe thrombocytopenia may have an increased risk of severe internal bleeding, so for example, in the gastrointestinal system or in the brain. It can also decrease the amount of blood flow to your heart and therefore increase your risk of a heart attack. So what are the symptoms of a low platelet count? Well, some people with mild cases don't actually have any symptoms. When they do, one of the first symptoms is a cut or a nosebleed that won't stop bleeding. Other symptoms can include bleeding gums, blood in your poo, which might look bright red or very dark, blood in your pee or vomit, and very heavy menstrual periods. Other people might notice petechiae, which are tiny red or purple dots on your lower legs that resemble a rash or red, purple, or brown spots on your skin called purpura. Now this happens when small blood vessels under your skin leak blood. Finally, one of the most common signs of a low platelet count are bruises. So what causes a low platelet count? Well, the causes of low platelet count typically fall into one of three categories. The first is that your bone marrow simply doesn't make enough platelets, and this might happen if you've got blood cancers like leukemia or lymphoma. The second reason is that your bone marrow makes enough platelets, but your platelet supply runs low because you've got conditions that use up your platelet supply or destroy them. The third reason for low platelet count is that your spleen traps platelets so that they can't circulate through your bloodstream. Normally, your spleen stores about one third of your platelet supply. Now, in terms of specific causes of a low platelet count, well, there are quite a few. It can occur in people with certain medical conditions like autoimmune diseases, so things like rheumatoid arthritis, or people taking certain medications. Blood cancers like leukemia and treatments for cancer, including chemotherapy and radiation therapy, can also cause it, as can bacterial and viral infections, which might lower your platelet levels. Heavy use of alcohol, exposure to toxic chemicals, and certain medications also cause it. Health providers typically treat the low platelet count by treating the underlying condition or changing the medication that has caused the issue. So how do healthcare providers diagnose a low platelet count? Well, healthcare providers will do a physical examination. They'll check for bruises, rashes, and other symptoms or signs of a low platelet count. They'll ask you about your medical history, including any medications you take, and they might do tests, including a full blood count and potentially a test called a peripheral blood smear where your platelets are examined under a microscope. So do you need to treat a low platelet count? Well, you might not need treatment if a low platelet count isn't causing significant issues. Often healthcare providers can improve platelet counts by treating the underlying cause. This approach might involve changing your medications, and other treatments include steroids which can boost your platelet production or a blood transfusion if your platelet level is very low. Transfusions may boost levels temporarily for about three days. In very rare cases, a surgery can be done to remove your spleen if tests show your spleen is trapping large numbers numbers of platelets. So if you do have a low platelet count, here are five things that you can do. First, if you smoke, try to quit, because smoking increases your risk of blood clots. Secondly, if you drink alcohol, try to do it in moderation, because we know that heavy alcohol use may affect platelet levels. Third, try avoid brushing your teeth and gums too hard in order to avoid them bleeding. Fourth, try to avoid high contact sports. And finally, try to check which medications might worsen your condition and speak to your pharmacist if you're unsure about these. So when should you see your doctor about a low platelet count? Well, if you notice changes in your body that could be a sign of low platelets, such as new bruises and unusual bleeding, or if you're bruising more easily, getting frequent nosebleeds, or your gums are bleeding more often, or your periods are heavier, then it's worth speaking to your doctor. Now, if you've been diagnosed with low platelets, you might want to ask your doctor the following questions. Firstly, why do I have low platelets? Secondly, do you need to investigate this? 
Thirdly, what changes can I make to minimize bleeding and bruising? And fourthly, should, what should I watch out for in terms of complications? I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to learn more about thrombocytopenia, check out the description box for more trusted resources. And until next time, thanks for watching and bye.